Welcome back everyone, Toysius here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally going to be checking out the brand new Marvel Legends Thanos the Infinity Gauntlet figure, because he's got all those names to him, big mamma jamma of a figure, he's going to be available everywhere, and depending on when you see this video, he is starting to hit Target stores as of March First, but yes, this is the Thanos, the one and only Thanos based off the Infinity Gauntlet, which is the best Thanos story, right? This is the first Marvel Legends Thanos figure, if you can believe it. Well, the comic book one. Artwork on the box is okay. I like the side, but the back of the box, usually I don't really, you know, I'm not going to be overly critical, but it ain't the best. We're just going to say that. The Mad Titan Thanos seizes control of the hollowed Infinity Gauntlet and wields near omnipotent power. Go and read that comic. It's great. Or you can watch the movie, basically. Yeah, give or take. Go read the comic instead. Here's the barcode if you want to screen grab it. And I figured instead of doing the usual, here's the figure. He moves around. Look at the heads. Whoa, crazy. Let's pull out some of my other Thanos figures and just have some fun. Comparing him. No, I don't have every Thanos figure. No, I didn't miss the one that you really, really like. These are just the Thanoses that I have, the Thani. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is, well, let's just say who Thanos is best utilizing the brand new Marvel Legends Hasbro 2020, the Infinity Gauntlet Thanos action figure. And you can tell she's, she's definitely, she's definitely up to something. So let's kick things off with the very first Thanos in my collection, 1995 Toy Biz, the Fantastic Four series cartoon, part of the Marvel Action Hour, Thanos action figure. This really was my first, if I remember correctly, outside of comics going, okay, who is this guy? You know what I mean? And that's the beauty of toys and action figures. It's making you go, okay, don't know who this is. Oh, he's from a comic? Oh, we did all this crazy stuff? Very cool. This was a great sculpt to him. The paint is not fantastic, but I do like the oranges and the blues to this Thanos. Very basic articulation, but articulation that definitely worked. He was a little bit bigger, but it would have been really nice if he was a little bit more bulky massive. He did fit in within that five inch realm of all the other Toy Biz action figures from that particular line. So if you don't have this guy, I would say he's a great place to start. A couple weapons here and there. This is gonna make for a great Thanos figure. Next up from the short-lived Silver Surfer animated series comes the Toy Biz 1997 Cosmic Power Blasters Thanos, and he had a little light-up weapon that he would hold. Yeah, he's an okay Thanos. I think that he's just more of the nostalgic sort of Thanos to me. He's got colors for days, oranges, blues, golds. He just wanted everything to wear this particular day, but he's got that pointing figure that, uh, yeah, it's... It's okay. He works with the weapons that they're giving him. His little mouth mustache thing, it's okay. It's just awkward in the paint a little bit. But he's a cool figure. He works within that Silver Surfer realm for the animated series. Not my favorite. He does have a little bit more updated articulation than the prior Marvel Action Hour Fantastic Four Thanos, so I definitely appreciate it in that sense. If you're looking for a wonky Thanos, yeah, look no further. He also has a repainted version that allows him to come with Adam Warlock and an Infinity Gauntlet as well. Now, just let's just take a step back for a second. This is the early 2010s, uh, I think it's like 2011, 2012, something like that. He's been re-released multiple times, sometimes different color paints in the old eyes. This is the Diamond Select Marvel Select Thanos action figure that came with Lady Death. And this is my favorite Thanos. This is amazing. I love this guy. He was sculpted by Phil Ramirez. You know him from all the other Toy Biz stuff that I seem to talk about on a weekly basis. But that face, the colors, it's the purple. That is the perfect Thanos color right there. And we'll talk about that with other Thanos releases. But the beauty of the yellows, the golds, the blues, He's huge, and also he comes with Lady Death. Yeah, that face is 
terrifying. Look at that. Now, she's not articulated, but she's a great accessory to Thanos. And if you've read anything with Thanos, yeah, he's got a little thing for old Lady Death. Doesn't really work out for him most of the time. But this is still my favorite. Yeah, the Infinity Gauntlets and all the swap outs with the hands ain't the best. I will say that. But the size, the look, the just ferociousness of this guy coupled with Lady Death, yeah, you can't go wrong with this Marvel Select figure. Continuing on with our Thanos action figures, this is the Walmart exclusive Hasbro Marvel Legends 2018 version. The previous black Build-A-Figure version was from 2014, but he was given a spiffy blue paint job with a new Infinity Gauntlet attachment accessory and an extra head. And this is not my favorite go-to look for Thanos. The purple in the face is too dark, I feel like. The Marvel Select one hits that nice note. I'm glad he got the Infinity Gauntlet. The face is okay. I do like the more muted, calm face. And then you have the more open mouth, sort of grinning face that, yes, definitely resonates with Thanos. And like I said, the new Marvel Legends figure comes with the King Thanos head sculpt. And I do really like that. I think it works for this particular body type, although it's not the right costume. It's close, but now what? Where's the, you know, the Polly Walnuts feathered boa kind of thing going on? We, we need that, right? It's nice to get heads all day, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyways, you could put him with the Cosmic Ghost Rider. You can put him with the Fallen One Silver Surfer. He does display nicely, and again, I like this costume, this particular version of Thanos, more because of the King Thanos head. He's okay. It works for me, this body type. I didn't build the rest of the black version of this Build-A-Figure, so it's cool. It's a nice futuristic, nice more modern-ish type costume, but he's just okay. Next up, we're going back to Diamond Select. This is their Marvel Select 2018 Disney Store exclusive. Now they're re-releasing it elsewhere. This is the more modern-ish type Thanos costume with the Infinity Gauntlet and multiple heads. It was a great Thanos, and it still is. While I do have my reservations about the prior Marvel Legends one, there's something about the paint and the detail and just the way this one is, is just... Very cool. So it is definitely up there with some of my favorites of the Thanos figures that I own. I think it's that little bit more paint to him, a little bit more deco. He looks weathered. He looks fancy. He looks expensive. You know what I mean? So certain Marvel Legends figures could definitely use another dry brush, black wash, something like that. This was one that really nails that in spades. And I absolutely highly recommend this guy. Now we finally come to the new 2020 Marvel Legends Thanos, based off the Infinity Gauntlet look. Extra hands, he's got the Infinity Gauntlet, you can swap those out, he's got all the little gems in there, and he, you know, he's got the uh, King Thanos head to him, and this is a great Thanos, and it's funny that it's taken this long to get this Thanos, you know, if you really think about it. He comes with a head sculpt. He's kind of got like a snarl, laugh kind of going on. Again, very much Thanos, as you would expect. Nice blues, nice yellows. Everything about him, he's the big chunky Thanos that you want. He's a big figure. He's heavy and he's got excellent articulation to him. Hinless, I might add. That's very cool to see. And again, the paint is nice. The purpleness of him is that nice in between. He's got an open hand with the Infinity Gauntlet. Now his gloves don't change, which I think it could have changed a little, a little extra part. Something to switch it out to differentiate it between his gloves to the Infinity Gauntlet. Just saying that would have been nice, but he comes with the snap in hand. And that is what we've all wanted to see. That is fantastic. Again, it's funny that it's taken so long to get more of the comic book look with the snapping and all that. So in that sense, it really does nail it. I think the one thing, though, it could have used a little bit more paint just to kind of dirt, just bring it out a little bit better. It's a nitpick, if anything. I still really do like this figure. And you can swap the heads if you want. You can put the King Thanos head on this one. It doesn't really fit with comics, but you could do what you want. That's the beauty of toys, but I prefer it this way. Put old Marvel Select Lady Death, Mistress Death with him. Yeah, 
It definitely looks all kinds of sexy. But I will say this. I love this new Marvel Legends Thanos. I think it's fantastic. I highly recommend getting him. But he does not take down my Diamond Select one. The one great thing about this Thanos is the snapping thing. But you put Mistress Death, Lady Death with him. That is amazing. I still love the worn... Just every... The sculpt about the Diamond Select still holds up. And I love it. And... That's the beauty of these figures. To have all of them, to compare them and show them off and everything else. It's very cool to see. I love having old toys. I love seeing the new ones that come out. I love seeing the alternate costumes, the extra heads, the gauntlets. Who knows? Only one has come with Mr. Death. Now, I know Disney and you know what's going on, yada yada with that. But, hey, at least we got it at one point and it's fantastic that we even have her as a figure but i am curious to know what you guys think about all these thanos figures now there are multiple ones there's movie ones there's tons of ones but like i said these are the ones that hold a very special place in my old collection hearts but that being said what do you guys think do you have them do you need to get them comment below let me know let's talk everything thanos and what do you think about the new marvel legends thanos will you be picking him up as well then i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember Thanos, he's just a big, bad ace character, man. And when you got multiple versions to see his progression, well, now we just need the old Thanos copter. Six-inch scale, preferably. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.